Thank you for joining this quick Getting Started screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this screencast, we're going to get started with org shape for scratch orgs. Salesforce DX has introduced a pilot program that allows you to create a scratch org using your production org's shape. In simple terms, suppose I have a functionality that I would like to test against my production org. In order to test it, I will need a way to copy an entire production org and put it into a scratch org. Is this even possible? Yes. This is where the org shape feature comes into the picture. It allows you to create a scratch org with all the limits, features, and preferences of your production org. Let's take a look. Suppose I have a project which needs to be worked on the specific perm, allow users to relate multiple contacts to tasks and events under Activity Settings. This feature can be enabled manually and cannot be disabled by any users. Only Salesforce support can disable this feature. Let's see how this feature is enabled in Scratch Org using Org Shape. To get started, I have created an SFDX project called Org Shape Demo and successfully authorized my pilot enabled production org. The next step is to create Org Shape. To do this, we have to use the following command, which specifies creating org shape for your production org. This will capture the org addition, features, preferences, and licenses to be used for your scratch org creation. The next command to know is force org shape list to check the status of org shape creation. We can see here a list of org shapes available under my production org or dev hub. Please note that only one org shape is active at a time. If you run the shape create command again, the previous shape is deleted or replaced. Now that we have completed creating org shape, we can create scratch orgs using this org shape. Before creating the scratch org, we need to modify the project scratch definition file. We need to indicate the source org ID instead of the addition. I'm just pasting in my production org ID. Now we're ready to create a scratch org. To do this, we'll use the same command, and this will create the scratch org for us. Great! We can see we've successfully created the scratch org. Let's see if that particular feature is enabled. We'll open the scratch org, go to Activity Settings, and we can see that Allow Users to Relate Multiple Contacts to Tasks and Events is enabled. This is how we use org shape to mimic your production org's shape. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.